All right, guys, I got a lot to get to here. Got a lot of pickups, a lot to talk about. Stick around for the entire video. I guarantee you, you will not be disappointed. So to get started, I've been working on this rainbow of a 2016 Nationals Panini Barry Bonds. So I got the one to 99. It's not numbered. And then this one's to 10. This is just beautiful. I don't know what they call it, gold pulsar or whatever. I don't know, but it's beautiful. Then I got this purple one that I, sh that one's numbered to 50. And then I think I showed that cracked ice one, uh, the one numbered to 25. So I got those cards just to get started. And then uh, I did get do an order from checkoutmycards.com. Just bought a bunch of binder cards. Did find a bonds card I needed. And then just a bunch of uh, cool binder cards here. I'm just going to go real quick on these. I'm not going to go into detail. Stick around for the end of this video, guys. You will not be disappointed. I uh, made a pretty exciting purchase. And I really want to share it with you guys. I think you guys will really enjoy. But anyways, hopefully you were able to see the cards from uh, CheckOutMyCards.com. I guess the one card I really want to point out. I guess really love that Mantle card. That was a cool card. That Ruth card's nice. Anyways, just a lot of cool binder material right there. And then my buddy Eric came over today. You guys know him, Titanic Taters. He's on my other channel, uh, Baseball Card Junkies TV. And he always buys player lots, and he had a bunch of exhaust. So um, we did a little bit of trading. These are all like An Anthony Rizzo's and Conseco's, Jose Conseco. Um, just, just a bunch of cool cards. Nolan Arenado, Hoffman, Trevor Hoffman. Uh, so anyways, not going to go into every card in there, but just a bunch of fun binder material so very very um whoa gravity uh just yeah just all kinds of odds and ends and here's a few more that i traded with eric <clears throat> so just some cards that he had in penny sleeves maddox like that kershaw refractor and then a couple of aaron nolan arenado rookie cards uh that guy of course is on my radar because the giants play colorado all the time and he always kills the Giants. Then I was talking with Ben the other day, and he uh, sent me a link to the, the, the car, this card on eBay, and he told me to pick it up. He said he had purchased his about 10 years ago and hadn't seen one on eBay since. Just an oddball item for the Bonds PC. An old phone card. So very cool there. like the oddball stuff. And then I was at my LCS yesterday. Picked up this 1958 All-Star. Ted Williams. Very nice card there. like that one a lot. Did a little cash and trade for that one. And then I went to an antique store. My girlfriend and I went to lunch yesterday. Went to an antique store and I saw this there. And I picked it up. This is a 1909-11 to T206. And it is uh, Don Donlin. I think it's Mike Donlin is the name. New York Giants, this card is beat to hell, but it is intact. And the reason, the three reasons why I picked this card up. One, it was only $3.50, so who cares about the money? Two, it's a New York Giant. And three, it's a lesser, or it's not the um, most common back. It's an old mill back from the T206. So I figured, what the hell, picked it up. Uh, uh, glad to have that. So I've been... Um, teaching myself a little bit about T206s. It's something I'm really interested in to collecting a little bit more. And with that being said, the wonderful Max Jackson and I were on Skype the other night. We've been texting back and forth for a while. There's a note. Very nice. He looks a lot like Brandon Belt, guys. Trust me. Go watch his videos and you'll see. If you're a Giants fan, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. He's Max Jackson, but you know what? Sometimes I think he's really Brandon Belt. But anyway, um, <laughs> I, um, we've been going back and forth, and I've been wanting to buy a T206, like, you know, decent ones, for a long time. And um, we've been talking for a while, and he, he, uh, he helped facilitate my ability to make an educated purchase, which I really, really appreciate. Max and I actually spent about two, maybe three hours on Skype the other night. And he went into detail about all the cards that he had for sale. 
I guess he's upgrading some of his New York Giants uh, T206 PC, and he had some for sale. And I just really, really appreciate it. It made the buying process completely stress-free, and um, and I completely trust Max, and that's what I wanted when, to buy my first T206s. This is a Piedmont back, 150 subjects. And because it's only 150 subjects, as you can see here, SGC is knowledgeable enough to know that this was printed in 1909. If you guys uh, do your research on T206s, you'll know that the first print run were that of 150 subjects, and then later uh, it became like 350 subjects and then 420 subjects. So with that being said, just a beautiful card there of uh, Red Ames. This is um, graded good 2.5 by SGC. For my tobacco cards, pretty much the only grading company I'm really going to want to buy from would be SGC. My preference, I mean, they just look absolutely gorgeous in their holders. Just a gorgeous card. And, um, yeah, just gorgeous. So, put that over here. And then the next card is a Hall of Famer. That's right, guys, a Hall of Famer T206. And, again, another New York Giant. So I now have three New York Giants on my T206 PC. This is uh, printed in 1911. And as many of you guys know, the T206 series is 09 to 11, like I stated before. But like I was telling you earlier, you could tell that what year it was printed because it says um, new baseball series, 360 to 460 subjects. And as you can see, this is a sweet caparol back. So, not only have I been able to obtain three gorgeous New York Giants T206 cards, two of them in these SGC holders from Max Jackson, which, again, Max, big time shout out to you, buddy. I really appreciate you helping me uh, with the purchase of these cards, and I am extremely happy with this purchase. I mean, I'm just really excited about it. But also... We got those two backs, which these are the more common backs. And then because of uh, what I've learned from Max when I went to the antique store, I knew that this would be a, uh, a good pickup. And well, for 350 who cares? It doesn't, even if it's a bad pickup. Well, I don't think you can have a bad pickup for a card that old for $3.50. But anyways, just some awesome pickups, man. So those uh, those are awesome. And Max, thank you so much again for taking the time to hang out with me on Skype so I can make an educated decision on my purchase. I am extremely, extremely happy and excited to have those cards. All right, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I got everything from a 1909 to 2016 in the mailbox and, and pickups in general, and that just kind of makes it a cool week for card collecting. All right, guys. Happy collecting. Peace out.